Uh, take me to the money. Uh, you can keep the stress. You ain't paying dues. You just keeping weeds in debt. So about a month ago, I started getting all these messages saying, yo, Eddie, what's up with Killian? Or Eddie, do you know what's going on with Killian? And I didn't know what was going on. So I went over to their Instagram page and I clicked on their newest image, started reading the comments and was like, if you're unfamiliar with Killian or Killianist, I don't even know which one they go by. It's kind of weird. They have two different names. They are a fast fashion streetwear brand. So basically they have these affordable prices and cheap prices on fast fashion streetwear items. So you can get long tees, distressed denim, outerwear, a lot of stuff. And honestly, it was pretty good. Like the clothing was nice. I liked it for the price point that it was at. Honestly, they usually delivered and I have like nine or 10 different things from them. They've sent me a package. I've bought a bunch of different things from them and they've been around for at least two years now. In their bio on Instagram, it says that they're honest and they're for the people. And that's kind of the reason why I'm making this video because I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about that right about now. It's not looking too good for you because you're certainly not being honest and you're not really being for the people. So here's what I think happened or is happening right now. And honestly, I'm not a gossipy kind of guy. I definitely don't want to kick anyone when they're down. That's not really my style. You guys know that. I've never really done a video like this, but this is my problem. They had a pre-order in June where they took people's money and have not delivered a product since. They basically just went radio silent, have not put up a message on Twitter or Instagram or anything at all. They shut down all their stores and they just have not delivered the product. No, no, no. You cannot do that, man. You cannot take people's money and then just go ghost. It's not a robbery, like that literally is illegal. Like you can't take someone's money and then not deliver a product. So a lot of people have had to file chargebacks with their credit card and PayPal and all that stuff, which is a hassle, man. That's an absolute hassle. They shouldn't have to do that. And then others are just confused. Like, yo, I saw this clothing item I really wanted. I paid for it and I'm expecting it. It was supposed to be delivered back in July and now we're midway through September. So that's a hell of a delay. And here's what I think went down. Pre-orders are a slippery slope. When you make clothing and have it manufactured, you pay up front. No one's gonna make clothing for you and then ship it and then you pay. That's not how it works. You pay the factory for the time, the materials, the shipping, everything that goes into it. So my guess is that Killian opened up this pre-order. They got to see how many people were actually gonna order so they knew how many units to make and they had the money up front to have the clothing manufactured. They didn't have to go into their own pockets to have the clothing made. They had the customer pay for everything up front and all they had to do was orchestrate it and organize it, you know, upload the images on their website, ship everything everything out, all the day-to-day -day stuff. Because once you pay for a pre-order from Killian, that money leaves your account right away and then you wait two months for your product. What should happen is the money should leave your account once the item is being shipped to you. But that's not what went down here. That is not what went down. People lost their money and got nothing. That's whack. That is honestly whack. And the fact that they have not put anything out on social media is crazy to me. There's a number of things that can go wrong when you're manufacturing clothing. The price of the goods might go up. The factory you're using might close. You might lose money in the process somehow. There's so much that can go wrong. And all Killian had to do or has to do is say what went wrong. If you're honest and you're a brand for the people, speak up and say what happened. Being silent and just scamming people is messed up. Like that really is messed up. And the problem with brands like Killian is a lot of times they don't have a face to the brand. Like say this was happening with Kith Clothing, 
Ronnie Feig would probably come out and say, here's what went wrong, we're trying to fix it, here's when you can expect your clothing, here's when you're gonna be refunded. You haven't heard anything like this. That's why I relate to brands that have a face to them more so. If this happened with John Elliott, John would probably speak up and say what was going on. He wouldn't just go ghost and be silent on his Instagram. If it happened with my clothing, if the Wynn collection couldn't deliver for some reason, I would make a video on it and say exactly what was going down. I would apologize first and foremost, but keep people in the know. Being silent doesn't do shit, but have people draw assumptions. I'm making this video based off an assumption of what I think happened. Speak up and this wouldn't be happening. It's kind of messed up, man. It really is messed up. And if you have ordered from them, I hope you get your money back. Definitely go through the steps to do a charge back on your credit card and all that stuff. I know it's annoying and hopefully you didn't order too many things. I hope that they also don't get away with making money off this. If you know what went down, definitely leave a comment and let me know. If someone from Killian is watching this, for sure hit me up, give me some facts so that I can relate to the people because I know a lot of people that watch these videos are fans or were fans of Killian and wanna know what was going on. Because I do, bro. I mean, I rep your brand. I rep Killian in videos all the time. You know, I've got a bunch of, I have some clothing from Killian right here. Honestly, this is what kind of made me think that they were a little bit sketchy to begin with as well. They hit me up and were like, yo, Eddie, you know, we think you're great, blah, blah, blah. We wanna send you some clothing. So I was like, sure, send it over, but just know if I don't like it, or it doesn't make it into a video, that's all good. You're not paying me, we don't have a contract or anything. If I don't like the clothing, it's not gonna be in a video. Like, that's how it is. And honestly, if you're making YouTube videos as well, you should do the same thing. Don't verbally commit to making content around a clothing item before you get it in. Just protect yourself a little bit. So, I got these items from them. Honestly, I forget what's in here. So, after they sent this package, a month later, someone else from Killian reached out and they were like, Yo, Eddie, um, we noticed you was an influencer and thought it'd be cool to send you a package. So I'm like, yo, you guys just sent me one and you just reached out to me. It was someone different and it's literally in this same DM conversation. So I didn't really respond to that, but I remember thinking, these guys are a little bit unorganized. They kind of need to get their shit together. I kind of felt like I needed to make this video because I think it's wrong and that's not something you're gonna see from my brand ever. If you see a pre-order, the money's not gonna leave your account right away and I have no plans on doing a pre-order. If I have the clothing made, it's my vision, it's my work. I think that it's gonna be successful, so that's why I'm putting the money into it. It's not your money to be put into it. It should be me, so I'm putting the money up to have everything made always. I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new. If you know anything that's going on with Killian that I don't know or I didn't mention in this video, for sure leave a comment and let me know. I'll have another video up for you guys soon. Go check out my older ones if you missed them. I'll talk to you later. Peace.